Today I'm making Mexican style sliders. Almost a year ago, I shared a recipe for Mexican style burgers. Having just had these burgers in Mexico last week and already craving them again, I thought I'd try turning them into easy to make sliders. These burgers are so good. They've got some toppings you don't normally see on burgers like ham, avocado, and beans, but trust me, they belong there. You can turn on subtitles by pressing the CC button or check out the full list of ingredients in the video description. To begin these slippy sliders, you're going to need one pound of ground beef, half an onion, grated, half a tablespoon of yellow mustard, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, and a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. So we're starting off by adding our grated tear gas fruit into the ground beef. Don't be shy. Join the party. See? It's nice in here. One second. Cover up the fingies. Is anyone actually able to get these on easily? And get the rest of the onion mush in there. This really gives it a lot of its flavor. Next, scrape in the yellow mustard. Again, making sure to get every last drop. Follow this with some salt, garlic, and pepper. Now it's time to get to know your meat. Get in there and make sure to mix all the ingredients in evenly. Squishy. Now let's just move this aside and get a 9x13 baking dish. I've split mine in half, so this is an 8x8, but we're just dumping our meaty mush into the dish and pressing it flat. Uh, is this too big? Nah. I'll make it work. You just want to get a thin, even layer across the whole dish. Just keep gently pressing the meat out into the corners. Just like this. And see? It's a decently thin layer, but it'll be perfect for our sliders. Throw them in a 400 degree oven for 8 to 10 minutes, then pull it out and drain its delicious meat water. This'll keep it from just boiling and turning gray. Tasty. Back into the sauna for another 5 to 10 minutes. You just want it cooked through. I'm reusing this pan, so I'm just going to use a large spatula to get the sheet of meat out and transfer it to a plate. Now let's season our beans. You'll need a 15 ounce can of pinto beans, half a teaspoon of chicken bouillon powder, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of onion powder, a quarter teaspoon of cumin, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Pour out your beans, bean water included, into a bowl and add in the powdered chicken, garlic, onion, cumin, and salt. This will likely be too much for your sliders, but if you eat tacos as often as I do, they'll be gone in no time. Mix until evenly combined and set aside. Let's finish up our sliders now. We'll be needing some mayonnaise, sliced avocado, slider rolls, shredded lettuce and sliced tomato, cheese, I like to use chihuahua, sliced ham, and pickled jalapenos. Now that my baking dish is all clean and sparkly, I'm going to get it full of breadcrumbs by cutting my bread in half over it. Like magic, the crumbs are gone and I'm laying down a layer of cheese all over the bottom bun. Sliced chihuahua cheese would be best, but I've never seen it anywhere, so shredded cheese will have to do. Top it with some porky slices. I found these long slices that fit pretty well. Just a single layer, or more if you want. Next goes our meat sheet. Oh, I guess it shrank a little. Maybe use a bigger dish to press and bake your meat in. Another layer of shredded milk, and some beans. Heat them to thin the liquid and let the flavors mix. Then drain off as much of that liquid as you can before adding them to the burger. You don't need a whole lot, just a scoop or two. And finish it off with mayonnaise. Spread the mayo on the top bun for extra flavor and moisture. Top the burger, little smush, and cover it with foil so the buns don't burn. Now back into the 400 degree oven it goes for 5 to 10 minutes, or until the cheese is melty. I'm so excited to see how this turns out. It's like unwrapping a present. I mean... I guess it looks the same. I threw it back in the oven a few more minutes to melt the cheese. Now add on a layer of avocado slices. You can probably get away with using a single avocado for the full recipe. Another small scoop of drained beans. Top it. And you're ready to serve. I am so impressed with how quickly and easily these came together. These sliders look awesome. They're so cute and look like shrunken versions of the original. Mini little buns of deliciousness. This is a must-have when I go to Mexico, one of my favorites. It's such a unique combination of ingredients, but they all work so well together. Serve your burger with some lettuce and tomato, fries, a pickled jalapeno, and your favorite Mexican beer, and enjoy! I'm just going to add the final toppings, and we're ready to eat. I'm so excited for this. And guess what? It's so good. Check out that cheese pull. Pair it with a bite of jalapeno for some nice spice and tang, a sip of beer, and you've got the perfect burger. The ham, cheese, and beefy flavors just fit so well together. 
That onion and mustard in the beef adds so much flavor, and the beans and lettuce add some nice extra texture. And I love the addition of avocado in here. It adds extra flavor, color, and creaminess to round out the burger. I'm already looking forward to my next visit to Mexico, but this will hold me over till then. If you're ever in Mexico, I recommend trying the burgers as well as all the tacos you can get your hands on. Otherwise this and my original burger video are pretty damn close. Give them a try and let me know what you think. I'd love to see how your burgers turn out. Share a picture on Instagram and tag me at Michael with 4 H's. If you liked the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and if you'd like to watch another one, you can click the card over on the right. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, if so, please consider subscribing, would love to have you around, and I hope to see you all next Thursday.